Hey guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to my channel where we talk a lot about making and selling digital products. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why Etsy is not the ideal place to sell the digital products. Now, it's going to be a little bit negative side of the Etsy. Of course, Etsy is a great platform, a great marketplace. If you are looking to sell online, whether physical products or digital products, it's a great place to start. But in some cases, it may not be the ideal place to sell your digital products. Why? I'm going to talk about this thing in this video. And in the, uh, in the previous week's video, I talk about where are the places that you could sell your digital products if you're not selling on the Etsy. So once you know about the negative side of selling on the Etsy, then you would be thinking where to sell the digital products. So that video will going to help you. Well, let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more such videos. You could very well check our other channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a creative person as an artist. The links are in the description box below. You could grab the digital product bundle planner if you're interested in making and selling digital product. It's a PDF download that will going to help you. That help me. All the links are in the description box below. Anyway, guys, let's talk about today's topic. Now, why is Etsy not the ideal place to sell the digital products? Now, I'm going to go into the ins and outs of my own experience selling digital products because I was selling digital products on the Etsy from the past three or four months until my account got suspended and I'm out of it. So I was selling the digital product as well and as well the print on demand products. So I'm going to talk about why it's not an ideal place. The first thing first, the main reason why Etsy is not the ideal place to sell digital product is Etsy rules and regulations. The number one thing that actually drive me crazy about going off the Etsy is their account suspension policies. Like they have the bot system on their platform and your shop will going to get caught up of in, you never know when it will going to get caught up. And if it's caught up, you may try to appeal to get your account back. In some cases you may get it, in other cases you may not be getting it. But they're never going to reveal you the correct reason why your account got suspended. Unless you know the reason you actually violated their policy, then that's a different thing. But for me, I never violated the policies. I always had the policies in place. So I don't know why it happened to me. So that's why I don't like that part of Etsy. That you don't have any accountability in terms of your account suspension. And why it got suspended, why you can't get it back. You, do ha you don't have all the answers, even if you try to reach to the customer service, try to appeal to get your account back. And they say that it's a permanent account suspension. It can't be reinstated and you don't know the reason. And that's the really a bad situation to be in. You don't know why it happened and now you don't know how to get it back. And even if you try to do that, you won't get it back. So... That's the number one thing. I, Etsy is not an ideal place to sell the digital products because selling digital product is not a hobby. We are building a business and we want to build a business on its two feet where it has some sort of certainty. Of course, entrepreneurship and business is not that certain, but of course, we want our business to have its two feet on the ground where it's more certain. And Etsy is not a certain place. That's what I can say based on my experience because of this number one reason. The second reason why I think the Etsy is not an ideal place because it's a marketplace. It's a third party platform. And third party platform, you don't have a control because it's not your place. It has been built to help people to bring in sales, to bring in customers, and it's a marketplace, but it's not your place, okay? It's not your home. And if they don't want you to be there, they can kick you out anytime without any reason. And that's a part of account suspension, which I've already covered. So it's a third party platform. You don't have control. You don't have much of the stuffs to control. That's the second thing. The third thing which I see is the huge competition in the digital product space. Since digital products are easy to make, easy to sell, and they are helped you to make more profit plus more passive in comparison to the physical products. So people go with the digital products and there's so many digital products currently selling on the Etsy. That makes the Etsy the quite competitive for digital products. And that's why 
if you're actually targeting any niche in the digital product space on the Etsy, it's quite competitive. You need to sub niche down. You can't have one competitive niche and you can start selling in there. You need to sub niche down to actually bridge the gap or to find your own space and to actually help you bring in the sales. And that's why I can say it's not an ideal place to sell because it's way more competitive. Of course, people do sell them and they are making six figure, seven figure income on that and it's doable. But if your account got suspended, even after making six figure income, you're out of the business. And that's a risky deal. We don't want that. Fourth reason why Etsy is not an ideal place to sell digital products is because there is a lot of the listing fees. Now, 20 cents listing fees seems reasonable, seems small. If you have a 10 listings in your shop, then that seems easy. But if you have 100 listings, more than 100, thousands of listings, it makes the financing a lot more complicated. I was having 1,000 plus listings in my shop and they were renewing after four months and it was very hard for me to actually keep track of them. And I can say 20 cents per listing in the beginning seems very small, but when you actually have hundreds of listings or you keep on uploading new listings, new listing, new listing, it's just gonna add up. If you're not making money, you have to pay the fees from your pocket. And it just add up without even thinking about it. It just quickly add up. And within four months, that listing is expired. You have to renew again. You have to pay 20 cents listing fees again to renew that listing. So if you are not making sales on the Etsy and you keep on uploading new products, you keep on uploading to expecting to get the sales, you may have to pay from your pocket instead of actually making any profit from your shop. And that's what I've seen. I was bringing in the sales every single month, but still I was paying from my pocket because I was keep on uploading new listings and all listings were renewing and new listings are live. So the finances were going up and I have to pay from my pocket. And that's the negative side of the Etsy. I hate it, especially when the listing expired after every four months, you have to renew them. I mean, why they can't have a single membership subscription fees every single month? You just have to pay one fees every single month and that search or an yearly subscription and that search like we do have in, in the website. If you're having a website, you would be paying for the domain for the hosting to the website builders to the uh, domain providers out there. And that's a great deal. You don't have to actually uh, you don't have to actually uh, pay them for every single product listing that you're creating on your website. No, they just have a single membership fee that you have to pay every single month. And that's crystal clear and amazing. But on the Etsy, it's not crystal clear. The more products you upload and your old products keep on, uh, keep on actually updating with time after they expire, they're going to renew again. You have to pay. And there is no certain amount of money that you have to pay. It will keep on increasing if you keep on uploading the new products and you keep on renewing the old products. So that's the thing that I don't like about the Etsy. And I think that there has to be a subscription fee instead of the listing fees because this listing fee style structure makes it uncertain to maintain your finances. And if you're not making any sales or if you're not bringing much of the sales, you're going to pay from your pocket. Your profit margin would be very low. In case if you're selling digital products like $5, $2, it's very hard to profit out. With that being said, the last tip or the last thing that I want to cover why Etsy is not an ideal place to sell digital products. People selling the Etsy products and digital products at very, very low price. I get it. You are not adding too many perks to your digital products. That's why you are selling at the low price or you want to beat the market or you beat your competition. That's why you're selling at the low price. But I've seen the people selling the digital products below $1. And I was like, how are you going to profit out? You're paying 20 cents listing fees for that. And then there is a transaction charges that Etsy is taking when you're actually bringing in the sales. Then how much profit you are actually making from that particular sale. And if you want to scale that business, if you want to make a thousand dollar a month from that particular product, you need a lot many sales to actually make a significant amount of money. So that's why I've seen the market is going very down. People are selling the products really, really at the cheap prices. And I totally get it. The digital product is just that uh, you have to create it once and you're going to sell again and again. But still, you need to make profit out of it. You're not selling just for the sake of bringing in sales. 
You're selling because you're doing a business and you want to have a profit. Even if you're not looking for a profit in the first few couple months, that's okay. But still, in the long run, you need to make a profit to sustain your business, to sustain your expenses. Because if you're not making a profit in your business, you will never going to sustain that business. Eventually, you're going to be one day out of the business because you need to support your lifestyle. You need to pay your bills and then you are going to have a part-time job or a full-time job or something like that. And you won't be able to replace it because you are selling digital products below $1, which hardly you are making some sort of a profit out of it. And that's why I see the people actually going really down on the Etsy to beat the competition, to beat the market. They are selling the products below $1. And that's what the thing that I don't like. So these are the few reasons why Etsy is not ideal for selling digital products. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Your experience, your questions, comments are really welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you the next time. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.